Hello, this is Carlos B. Requejo with Avaya Services Delivery. This video provides Avaya business partners, Avaya associates, and Avaya end customers with instructions on how to register Avaya assets using the Health Check tool. We will be reviewing the steps to register an asset using the Health Check tool. The application is available to authorized business partner, end users, and Avaya associates. The Health Check tool is available from the Tools section at the bottom of the Avaya Support Portal site. At the Avaya Diagnostics and Tool page, type the word Health Check within the search tool list. Select Enter. Now scroll down and select the Health Check link. You have arrived at the Health Check homepage. Here you will be able to find some useful information. Selecting the Health Check Test Guide will take us to a knowledge base article that has a wealth of information available to those who want to familiarize themselves with many of the tool's features. Let's open the Using Avaya Health Check Tool PDF document. After opening the document, scroll down to the table of contents. Select Chapter 7 Resources. If you're unfamiliar with using the tool, it is strongly recommended that you review the YouTube link listed within the documentation section. Going back to the Health Check homepage, select Load Consolidated Dashboard. There are different views depending on your SSO login profile. An Avaya associate will not see a list of SO2 sites. They will need to input the site FL information and then select Enter. A business partner or end user customer will see the SO2 sites associated with their specific SSO login profile. Once you have selected a SO2 location, you will arrive at the Site Health homepage. There, you will be able to inspect all the assets for a single site. You can review their current state as healthy, unhealthy, or unregistered. We want to focus on the new feature in Health Check that allows you to perform the technical onboarding steps previously performed in GRT. Let's select the Unregistered Assets tab and get familiar with the improvements in the process. Health Check enables you to select multiple assets and multiple quantities to onboard at the same time. You will notice that when you hover over the SE code, you can see the material codes that are available for that particular SE code. When you click on the red button to the left, you can view the available material codes and the prospective quantities associated with the site. Let's take a look at a couple of SE codes. You will notice there is a filter field on the right hand corner that can be used to search by material code, SE code, or description. Let's put in a material code. Next, let's put in an SE code. Now let's try a material description. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will pick some common SE codes and show you how to technically onboard them. We will select a quantity of each. The material code for R8CM duplicate is 397175. We'll select a quantity of one. Let's pick some additional material codes. For R7, let's start out with material code 380349. Expand our quantity list and select a quantity of one. Let's pick another Aura 7 release with a different material code. This time, let's type in 381, 276, expand our list, and pick a quantity of 1. Next, let's select an IP office asset. Let's put in material code 7004760054. Expand our quantity and select an asset of one. When we have all the material codes and the quantities selected, we can click on register at the bottom of the page. 
let's stop for a moment and take a look at the assets that we wanted to register. As you can see, we have successfully inputted several material codes, all with a quantity of one. Review the information and make sure that it's correct. The first required field to populate is a registration name. Use a name that helps to identify the purpose for this registration task so when you get an email confirmation, you will be able to differentiate it with other registrations you might be working on. The info icon provides guidelines for the naming convention. If SAO connectivity will not be configured at this time, leave the SAO admin blank and an SEID will be created. SAO administration can be completed later on using the add to SAO function in help check. This is covered in a separate video. It is preferred that the device to the SAO gateway be registered whenever possible, since this will save you steps later on and adds the assets to the SAO as part of the onboarding process. To request that the asset have connectivity through a SAO gateway, check the box below the SAO admin. Once this box is checked, the device IP and device host name are available for input. We will need to enter a nickname for each device to help differentiate the assets from similar devices. Likewise, we will need to enter a device IP and host name for each device in their respective boxes. If the SAO gateway is known, then it can be entered in the SAO gateway box. If the SAO gateway is unknown, or if the SAO gateway is in a different FL, use the lookup icon in the right of the SAO gateway box. A pop-up window will appear. Search for a SAO gateway or select one from the dropdown. Once selected, the SAO SEID will be populated in the SAO gateway box. Please note that some of the dropdowns under additional information are available while others are grayed out. In this example, for the VCM, there's an option to configure the device as a main CM or as a remote. If this is a main CM, it can be left as is. If this is to be configured as a remote, then the main needs to be registered first. Click on the remote bullet and the main CM, SEID and MIB is now available to configure. Once configured, click on Validate. The main CM SEID and MIB will be configured. An option to edit is available. However, the configuration is invalid. It will error out. Also notice that on the IP Office dropdown, there is an option to change this to the SSL slash VPN method of connectivity. You can see that once this option is chosen, the SAO admin options are grayed out. To complete the technical onboarding process by testing for connectivity and alarming, check the box below Test Connection. View your information, then click Submit to complete the registration process. A confirmation pop-up window will appear. A warning will be provided that it is imperative to test connectivity and alarming in order to achieve the service level objectives. Click on Submit. After submitting your registration, you will receive a successful registration notification. Additionally, the notification informs you that you will receive an email update with the status of your registration. After submitting your registration request, you will get two email notifications. The first email will indicate in the subject line that you have submitted the request. It will show you the name you use for your registration request. The email will list the SE code SEID and what you have requested, in this case, SAO admin and both connect and alarm testing. The IP and the host name of the device and the SEID of the SAO gateway to be used. Above that, there is a hyperlink that you can click on for additional details. By clicking on the detail status within the email, you can obtain additional status of the connect and alarm tests. If those tests had failed, then an SR would be automatically created to have Backbone Engineering investigate and assist. You could click on the SR hyperlink 
to review the status of that ticket. Additionally, you can click on the various radio buttons that are available to you to obtain additional information. It is recommended that you explore the various data points that are available to you on the screen. Now, let's take a look at the IP Office asset since the asset type for the IP Office was selected as SSL slash VPN connectivity. On the IP Office asset, let's click on the SE ID creation status in the registration summary. The IP Office onboarding XML file will be downloaded. Please use this file to complete the technical onboarding process. The second email notification will indicate a completion, even if that request resulted in a failure. In our example, the SAW administration was successfully completed, meaning that the device was successfully added to the SAW gateway. However, connectivity and alarming most likely would fail. We use fake IP addresses in our tests, so we would expect that result. If your test results failed, it is recommended that you review the SR info within the test details screen. This completes the video instructions on how to register an asset using the Health Check tool. If you have additional questions or comments, please send them to mentor at abaya.com. For more details and other information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thanks for watching.